Apple coming for our wallets. Gridlock traffic isn't the only thing you will see on the George Washington Bridge. Construction crews have been there working on it. Get this since 2013. It's all part of a major overhaul project that is called Restore the George. PIX 11's Greg Mocker got a look at the progress. Action on the George Washington Bridge isn't only from vehicles. While people go back and forth, crews are rebuilding the bridge. In some areas, they've been dismantling parts of the roadways as cars and trucks go by. The ramp from West 179th Street on the Manhattan side is one work area. When we stand and look at this, uh, is this symbolic of how you're keeping the bridge open and working at the same time? Absolutely. We've, uh, we've carefully designed these projects to work in stages to minimize the impact of the traveling public while still getting the work done. Work officially started on the $2 billion Restore the George project in 2013. The cables and ropes that support the bridge have been rewired and upgraded. Most of the work on the north side wrapped in 2023. The south side path will open at the end of 2026. The wideness is, and the cleanliness is really good. Jamie Paradiso walks the bridge path and all around the work on the Fort Lee, New Jersey side. As everything develops, I'm, I'm loving it, except for when I'm driving, but that's okay. Crews will be working on overpasses both on the Fort Lee, New Jersey and the Manhattan side. That's the next phase of the work. Drivers will see some lane restrictions and changes, but crews will keep it open as the work continues. We're a little over 60% done overall. Five of, of the 11 projects are complete. The paths for cyclists and pedestrians have been popular, open since February of 2023. You can catch it here at West 180th and Cabrini Boulevard in Washington Heights. The overpass work will begin here next. That would be the last phase. It'll last a couple of years. It's always been a big project set to wrap up in the 2030s. In Washington Heights, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.